On this edition of On Record, helicopter pilots get a new view with advanced helmets adapted from stealth fighter jets. Looking for an edge on the battlefield? The U.S. Army is showing off its new night vision tech. And Elbit Systems technology is in use for climate change research, and the company conducts efforts reducing its own carbon footprint. Hello, my name is Lauren Izo, and we are On Record. An Asian Pacific country will get new electro-optical tech for its maritime forces. The Spectro XR selected to equip the country's naval forces is a long-range, multi-spectral system, providing naval, air, and land forces with enhanced intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, and reconnaissance capabilities in both day and night and under low visibility conditions such as fog, humidity, smoke, haze, and dust, while using artificial intelligence to reduce human error. The $80 million contract will be carried out over four years. U.S. military officials are considering new helmet technology for helicopter pilots. They recently took part in a demonstration of the X-Site helmet-mounted display by Elbit Systems of America. The technology was adapted from helmets used with the advanced F-35 stealth fighter jet and could be a game changer for helicopter pilots. So one of the things that we're demonstrating is real-time sensor fusion of infrared sensors for night uh, along with a LIDAR, which is a laser version of a radar, which can detect all types of obstacles and terrain for the aircraft. Sometimes pilots need to look away from outside and to look down at maps to navigate, for example. And so our system shows the pilot the route they're supposed to be flying so that they can at one time be looking outside for obstacles while still having information from the flight computer about the route of flight. The U.S. Army is demonstrating its night vision technology, recently publishing several videos showing the systems in action. It looks like something straight out of a video game. Images were taken directly from their new advanced night vision goggles binocular, provided by Elbit Systems of America. The goggles began to arrive and replace the Army's older monocular system. The new goggles offer a clearer picture of the battle space, with a heads-up display of new features including compass, marking of friendly or enemy forces, and other digital battlefield necessities. It can also present a live video feed from unmanned aerial systems. After a lengthy hiatus of meeting in person because of the pandemic, defense exhibitions are finally resurfacing. Elbit Systems recently took part in the Land Forces 2021 event in Australia, showcasing some of its latest solutions, including the E-Lynx software-defined radio, Torch X battle management system, the Skylark UAS, exact night vision system, and more. The company is a long-standing partner of the Australian Armed Forces and other customers in the Asia-Pacific region. It's been a really great opportunity to showcase a number of world-leading innovations from the broader Elbit family. Primarily the Torch X and the E6 integration framework to be able to provide the most innovative C4I system for land forces. We here in uh, Elbert Systems Australia have enjoyed this opportunity to interact with a range of Department of Defence and other industry members to be able to demonstrate not just our C4I capabilities, but indeed other capabilities from uh, across the Elbert Systems divisions across all domains of air, land, sea, cyber, and space. As the world marks International Environmental Week, Elbit Systems technology is in use for climate change research. The company operates advanced imaging systems in space, observing important environmental changes from high above the Earth. The Venus satellite was launched in 2017 from French Guyana on board an Ariane Space Vega rocket, a collaboration between the Israeli and French space agencies. An Elbit Systems subsidiary in Belgium is taking part in two Earth observation programs with the European Space Agency, providing electro-optical components for a family of satellites in orbit. The programs monitor climate change and the environment, including ice caps, agricultural areas, and oceans. In Brazil, another subsidiary, AEL Sistemas, operates the country's first homemade observation satellite, the Amazonia-1, made to monitor deforestation in the Amazon. And in Canada, Geospectrum Technologies' advanced underwater submarine tech is being harnessed to monitor marine life with its M20 particle motion sensor. It's used on an international scale for marine mammal detection, ocean, and environmental monitoring, which can indicate phenomena like earthquakes on the ocean floor. Now from space and oceans back down to Earth. Elbit Systems commenced the installation of solar panels on the roofs of its facilities, aiming to increase the company's use of cleaner sources of energy, adding to electricity produced from natural gas resources. 
These actions are in addition to the company efforts on its car fleet, with around 50% of the fleet comprised of hybrid cars. A line of fully electric cars has been recently added. The UK Ministry of Defence will equip its armed forces with the exact NV33 night vision goggles, improving mission effectiveness in dark conditions. In an initial $16 million contract, Instro Precision, a subsidiary of Elbit Systems in the UK, will supply the micro binocular systems and maintenance and support services. Products in the exact NVG family have already been selected by a number of NATO countries, including the Netherlands and Germany. And that's all for this edition of On Record. For more updates from Elbit Systems, you can visit our Facebook page or YouTube channel, and don't forget to let us know what you think. I'm Lauren Izo. Thanks for watching.